Hello everyone, it's Helen here and Frodo. Um, it is finally Advent is with us, and um, as with most of this year, I cut all these off. Sorry, he's attached. <laughs> I get flying off. You'll know what's happened. Um, yes, and as with most of this year, I can't quite believe we're there already, but we are. Today is the last day in the church year, and tomorrow we begin Advent, that time of getting ready, preparing ourselves. It's not about the trappings of Christmas, and there has been a lot of talk this year, hasn't there, about Christmas is cancelled, Christmas is back on. And actually, I know what they mean, but uh, what lies at the heart of Christmas can never be cancelled. Um, it cannot never be de not delivered, as happened to dear old Margot in The Good Life. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that one, when Christmas has to be cancelled because they don't send the right stuff. And of course we have to remember and hold on to the fact that Christmas isn't about all the stuff. It's about um, Jesus coming into the world, God becoming human, living as one of us, knowing fully what it is to be a human. And so we can trust, can't we, in all this muddle and uh, weirdness that uh, God is with us in it and um, fully appreciates all our concerns and how painful it can be to let go of some of those things that we might have been looking forward to otherwise this year. So um, there he is, he's back, he's not, hopefully not going for a swim, um, <laughs> but of course um, it's really good for us to spend some time over Advent preparing for that mystery of Christmas because it's such a huge mystery and there are all sorts of ways you can do that. Perhaps you have a regular pattern that you uh, do for your Advent devotions. Um, I often buy an Advent candle which I find quite helpful to light every day. Uh, the challenge with that is to remember to blow it out before you actually do five days worth in one go. <laughs> there are plenty of advent books, maybe you have some on your shelves that you might like to dust off. There are all sorts of reading um, patterns through advent, perhaps you could revisit um, the Christmas uh, parts of the Gospels um, over advent and read and pray through those. There are all sorts of music you can listen to, lots of stuff on the TV and the radio. Um, on Harbour each Sunday evening we're going to be thinking about a different um, character in the story of the Nativity or groups of characters um, and there's also um, an online advent calendar which has been produced by the diocese so I'll put a link to that at the end of this video and I am also involved in another project um, which is an online Jesse tree now if you were at St Mary's around about this time last year we had a service all about the Jesse tree and we had a, a little Jesse tree in uh, the church uh, with all the different ancestors of Jesus, both physical and spiritual. So there are all sorts of ways you can um, enter into Advent and make the most of this wonderful time, the most wonderful time of the year as the song goes, um, as we prepare for the most wonderful mystery. So um, I hope that you are all keeping well and staying safe and do be in touch if we can be of any help or um, if you just want to say hi, that would be lovely too. So um, hopefully I'll see you soon at some point, <laughs> who knows where, who knows when. But till then, take care, God bless, bye bye. 